Welcome to the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland, Central Florida's best real estate planner, alongside Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Ranger. That's Thank right. you for joining the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Show. We are going to give you all of your mortgage news, all of your inventory news. How many homes are for sale? Are prices going up? Are prices going down? What do we think about the Fed rate cuts? We're going to talk about the commission settlement. What for- Fed rate cuts? Yeah, exactly. So uh, hopefully they're coming. Um, so actually, we're last time we talked, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if, didn't know that Kamala was the candidate or whatever. So no, so that's anyway, right. so yeah, so that's I all new. So are they going to give Kamala a Fed rate cut before the election? So there's one more rate cut. Oh, left I to don't do think they're giving anybody any Fed rate. So cuts. So I'm going to talk about Fed rate cuts, Bruce. Inventory is surging, and then commission in the NAR settlement. How much commission should you pay to sell a home or to buy a home? We're going to go through that too. Well, that's so. a good question. Oh, uh, it's it's going to come out, and when I see, oh, we'll go, we'll dive into that, Bruce. What do you got for today? Well, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Hometown Heroes has got a little bit of money left. What the Fed did with the Fed rate on the 31st, what's going to happen in the future, what programs are people looking for right now to get into the market, who's refinancing their homes right now. And I want to talk a little bit about a bridge loan for people that have equity in a property that want to purchase another one. So there's a lot of things we got to cover. All right. So Fed rate cuts. Probably it's interesting. I got a report here. I love these names. I never even heard of these people. Pantheon Macroeconomics. I'm going to start. I'm going to start a economics. Pantheon. Co- never heard of. Them. They're talking about. They're predicting a Fed will cut short-term interest rates by 1.25 points this year, starting with a 25-point basis cut in September. And that's my deep state bet. That's our right. stake bet. They're going to give Kamala a little bump there with that, so she can control the economy. Followed by a 50 basis point in reductions in November and December. So, I mean, that, hey, that would be great. That will, that will help, help. The, uh, that's going to roll into more. It doesn't directly correlate with mortgage rates, but it will right. roll into that. And with the economy taking off, because really we've, we've had six and a quarter rates yes. with the same Fed rate. Yep. And that's just the well, bond market reacting. we're going to talk a little bit about interest rates here too. So we know exactly. Um, what are we holding at now? What, about the same? Well, no, I think interest rates have improved dramatically. Um, I mean, we're starting to see interest rates between the the low sixes and mid sixes for good credit. So, um, you know, if you're if you're willing to jump in there and maybe pay a pay a point or two, um, you can definitely be into the low sixes. There's no question about. Wow, that. that's that's a great that's an improvement. Absolutely. I mean, two months ago, we were at sevens. So yeah, that's really good. Now, and think about this, Bruce, the people that buy now, we talk about, you need to buy now because next year the house is going to cost 30, 40 grand more. You're paying an extra 5,000 a year in interest. Why well, pay 50,000 more for the house 18 months from now when rates are in the fives, hopefully. Um, but think about the people that buy now, maybe get a buy down, one uh, a, a temporary buy down that puts your, starts your rate in the fives. Yes. Um, and then think about when rates drop. And if fixed rates get into the fives, where will the where will the fifteen year rates or thirty year rates get into the fives? Where will the fifteen year rates be? They'll be in be? the fours. They'll be in the fours. Yep. Which would probably be about the same payment they have now. And probably let's get aggressive. About the same and payment. this is the reason we are not the, the housing is not crashing now. We're not going to another bubble. You had a lot of smart people that got two percent fifteen year mortgage, maybe even some two percent thirty year mortgages, or some three percent thirty year mortgages. They're in their home right now, sitting there on that. Right. So, but every once in a while, still, you come across somebody that might need to refinance. Well, I come across people that need to refinance for debt consolidation. So, I mean, if people generally don't want to refinance their mortgage because they're sitting on a much lower interest rate than what you're going to get today. But when you take that, that payment that they're making, plus all of their other debts and consolidate it into one loan, you can, you can reduce the monthly expense. And for instance, I've I've mentioned this client that I did recently. They had a fifteen hundred dollar a month payment. It was very small. They had a three and a half or three and a quarter percent interest rate on their mortgage, but they had almost twelve hundred dollar a month in car payments, and then they had about fifteen hundred dollar a month between their credit cards and other debts, and then they needed twenty five thirty grand for to do some work on the house, which if I gave them a HELOC would have been another $300 a month. So they were looking at about 49, almost $5,000 a month. I refinanced the whole thing, gave them their 25 grand to do their rehab and reduced their payments 
by about two thousand overall monthly a payments month. on everything. Their yeah. Overall monthly payments by over two thousand dollar a month. Well, the wife said to me, I know, but then we're paying our cars off over 30 years. And I said, Well, then don't do that. Take the money you were accustomed to making and put it toward the mortgage. And now your house is paid off in 10 years. Yeah. Now you have no cars, no credit card, no dental bill. You had your your house fixed and you got one payment. And yep. your house is paid off in ten years. And I want to. And I want to say this is one thing. This is knowing your budget, getting a hold of your budget. And, and I see this with the first time buyers. I've I've come across some first time buyers, great income, smart kids, and I'm applauding them for hey, saying, "Hey, let's buy a house." But then, you know, we get a hold of them, and they they call you, and we've got seven hundred dollar car payments. I mean, right? That was my first mortgage payment, and it wasn't that long ago. Right. But I mean, get the house, drive the beater Honda Accord night from 1995. People are so into buying luxury And they make it vehicles. so easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They make it so, I got, I had a client, a veteran on the phone. He's probably listening to the show right now. The poor guy, uh, you know, he, he claims he got talked into it, but he's, he's basically living in his truck right now. His truck payments, $1,300 a month. Oh, good Lord. He's got a Harley Davidson payment that he's making and you know what he he was really emotional with me on the phone and was beating himself up about it but i'm like let's not beat yourself up about it let's fix the problem let's see if we can get rid of the vehicle get yourself a beater that's got air conditioning start saving that money get you don't need a harley when you're living in your truck yeah right yep you don't need a harley yep. so all of those things he was like but i know that i know that but what happens is we do things and we make these mistakes of doing things because we feel so entitled as a as a as a society today and you're not entitled you're not entitled to that at all you know what you're entitled to a lot of hard work yep take care of your family make some money and put some money away for later but when you just live based on an opulent lifestyle when you really don't have opulent income then you're going to get yourself into hot water. And a lot of people are doing that right now. And particularly with the current administration is really caused all this inflation and just a lack of, of good economy. It's putting extra undue stress. Right, on what's the everyone. phone number for you, Bruce? 407. 2509144072509144 or we bring you home.com for Loveland properties you want to make a real estate plan you're thinking about selling you need my 50 point staging checklist you're thinking about buying you got to hire a realtor now you actually have to sign a buyer broker agreement to hire that realtor we're going to dig into that next segment but call me at 407 352 8118 or clevelovelin.com. Yep. So I was out in uh, Lakeland on Tuesdays. I go out to Lakeland and visit Southern Home Communities. Great builder out there. Pays your closing costs, does rate buy downs. This builder is absolutely phenomenal. If you're looking in Lakeland, Frostproof, Avon Park, Sebring, Polk County, anywhere, Polk yeah. County, uh, some of Highlands County, Hillsborough County, but this builder is absolutely dialed in. Southern Homes, if you'd like me to connect you to them, give me a call or go to my website at webringyouhome.com and I'll connect you with one of their communities. And then we've got Trinity Family Builders absolutely exploding. You know, when they owned Hanover, they were voted uh, Orlando Business Journal Builder of the Year. Yep. They've got communities throughout Central Florida. They will also pay closing costs. They'll do rate buy downs. They've got the best built production home of any production builder in the central Florida market. You can call me regarding Trinity family builders or go to we bring you home.com and I'll give you a link. I have a link directly to their website. I got an article here, Bruce out of, out of uh, Fox business um, or credible. This was part of Fox, Fox news, Christopher Murray talking about the average down payment for the typical home in the country, reaching about 127,000. For an now, average down average payment. down payment. So this is, you know, usually your first time buyers going in FHA or maybe VA or, sure. or some, you've got some down payment assistance yes. loans, hometown heroes. Yep. And then as you sell a house and buy another one, you want to put something towards the next home. That's yep. kind of what fuels moving. So if you I don't do know it. if that number is what people need to put down or just what they're putting down. Because if you just sold a $500,000 house and you had 300,000 in equity, you probably want to put that 300 into your new home down payment, right? Yeah. And it's just, so this probably as people roll, go up in age, they're probably trying to put more and more down or get it paid off as the goal or sell the big one 
right. drop all that down. So this is kind of a rough number here. Um, and I haven't seen this figure before, but I see mostly, I mean, as I get up in the higher price points, I see 10, 20, 30% down, or maybe all cash sometimes. But I think the first time buyer just needs to get in. Like we had a, you and I are talking to a client and he's, a, he's probably going to pull the money out of his 401k, which I think at, at 25, that's a good idea. Right. Not at 70, 65 or 60. You know, so we'll help you with that or help tell you to talk to your financial planner about those things. But I think that's important. Get into the house. But then as you make a plan to get out, call me. I got a gentleman who's talking to me about redoing his whole kitchen. It's a huge house, like 4,000 square feet. It was going to be don't like, need to do that. Yeah, it's going to be like a $20,000 thing. I said, well, why don't you save that for the next home? Let's just adjust the pricing on your home. So that's what's important. And I stopped him. yourself a lot of we headaches, spent about too. We spent about five grand dressing his house up. And he was talking about spending thirty. Oh boy. So, and, and we, we listed it, you know, so it'll go quickly once this one comes on. So, cause I'm seeing kind of a fractured market, Bruce, I'm going into some neighborhoods. I was just looking for somebody in Seminole County, a couple certain neighborhoods below 550. One of our clients, they wanted a four or three below 550. There was like five in these five, in these five different neighborhoods they wanted. Um, I, I went into Deltona looking for a $300,000 home. There was a hundred. Right. You know, so the market's kind of fractured. Depending, that's why you got to have a good realtor helping you hunt. Absolutely. If you want a great realtor, you got to give Cleve and his team a call. 407-352-8118. 407-352-8118. You want some help with your mortgage? I've been in the mortgage business for 35 years. I've closed literally tens of thousands of loan transactions. I am helping folks right and left. DSCRs for investors, bank statement loans, reverse mortgages, purchases, FHA, VA. I'm helping veterans that listen to this, Cleve. I've got veterans calling me. You know, what mortgage company do you think the, a veteran calls first? Don't know. USAA. Oh, that's yeah. Okay. They, yeah. they all call USAA because they're really prominent in the, in the military veteran community. benefits. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're a great bank. If you want your checking and savings with them, they actually do good car loans and they have decent insurance. They are an insurance company. They're not really a mortgage company, but I had a veteran, literally they were paying almost $10,000 too much in loan cost. Ridiculous for a veteran. And I saved them about three quarters of a point and interest rate. It was absolutely insane, but they are so, um, they are so inundated with USA ads that, um, that they tend to just go there and they, think they, that they're the right ones for them. They got a NASCAR not. team and a, and they got uh, a NASCAR team. You know, I don't have a NASCAR team. Yeah, I don't either. Yep. I'm don't not either. on no the stadiums, I'm not no on, stadiums, no stadiums, stadiums named after me. Yep. for me. All right. Nope. 407. 2509144 that's for the loan arranger 4072509144 or we bring you home.com we got about a minute and a half a couple of listings real quick Bruce you talked about construction perms for southern homes they yep. do the construction perm loans i've got an acre of property in Seville this is north of um, Astor and this is a 1 acre property all high and dry for 33,000 build your dream home there i got 10 acres in Apopka for 617,000 and this is all high and dry. Um, I mean, water and sewer nearby. I actually probably have to go septic on a lot this big on 10 acres. But great property to build your home on, build your workshop on your for all your toys. And I got an acre of commercial land in Mascot right on State Road 50 for 300000 So give me a call if you want to take a look at any of those. I'll help you out with that. I was out in Mascot. Boy, I'll tell you, Groveland is just pushed right over Remember, Mascot. I mean, when I started, Claremont was the edge of the earth. It was. Then it went Groveland. I'm like, where is that? And now Mascot? Like, yeah. that's that's going to be the next Groveland. And Leesburg. I'm telling you, if you want a deal, Leesburg is still some really good deals. Uh, Trinity builds out in Leesburg as well. But uh, Leesburg, Ocala, Bartow is going to explode. And then they've got, I mean, Trinity has... Um, St. Cloud as well. Townhomes, yes. like under 300 to start. They do. That's a great price for That's a townhome. That's a really good price. And they're really nice And there's no homes. apartments around there. And you have a for, garage. Yeah. And then there's no apartments around there. That area will be bustling. And the growth has to go somewhere. We have Absolutely. so many people coming to Florida, coming to Central Florida. You need to call us if you want to make your real estate plan. 407-352-8118 or Bruce, they should get fast-tracked with you. Yep. Get fast Number, track yep. with me, 407-250-9144. That's 407-250-9144 or we bring you home.com. Cleveland, I'll be back in five minutes with more of the Loveland Report and the Lone Ranger Radio Show.